I don't think my ESG score is gonna be bing chilling after this video because you see Dr. Disrespect apparently reignited the fire to which, you know, uh, Mr. Beast, uh, this is Chris Tyson, brother, used to be a brother, but now a sister. Apparently, uh, his VV didn't go boing boing, so became a sister, changed gender. Bruh. They apparently fired back at Dr. Disrespect. And guys, the videos that I have for you tonight, I mean, damn, man, they busting, okay? Wait for the climax, like the video if you're with, leave the kids alone, dislike the video if you think it's perfectly fine for eight year old kids to change their gender when they're eight years old, right? Like, I, I, wanna, know, I wanna know, like, where you guys at, but, uh, Apparently, it, this what happened last night. Dr. Disrespect called out Activision over Wii themes and $100 bundles. Uh, yeah, those of you that do not know, we have like that. That, that This BBC bundle, that's like $20, Bruh. all right? But then, these suckers actually ended up dropping like an $80 monkey punch, that gorilla, that King Kong punch, right? And right after that, they drop a $100 bundle. A $100 bundle. Th this is wild. So... He came out in and says that $100 bundles in Call of Duty saying it's at odds with the decision to remove Nick Merck's skin. So Nick Merck's, yeah, this happened like almost a year ago. I believe a year ago, something like that. But not everybody agrees. However, including a response from Chris Tyson. Where, yeah, Chris Tyson, those of you that do not know, Mr. Beast. Uh, I believe he's still or she, my bad. Uh, uh, he or she, uh, uh, I, I'm not sure, okay? Like just, uh, my EXE kind of breaks right now. So, uh, it's breaking. So brother or sister came out. Uh, and sister apparently went crazy. We got articles as well, which I will show you the response. Wait for the climax. Wait for the climax. Jake Lucky is also talking about it. And this is what doctor, 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 this, 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 respect, 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 said. Activision pushing water bombs, <laughs> marijuana, get high levels. Uh, I cannot say these words on YouTube. And $100 camels on gamers, but they're removing Nick Merck's skin for him saying, leave the kids alone. Activision is ran by a bunch of idiots, biggest suit, and typhonies in the industry. To which Chris Tyson respond, but you know what? I will let you guess in. First of all, check this out. This is a response right now. Respect, 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 respect. Coming off the dog robes like an absolute savage. Drop with an elbow smash. Oh yeah. On the Activision Call of Duty cat cat out here let no one survive the holocaust of the top level elite game and athletes enough is enough we've had enough everyone's talking yeah. about it strap in right now for the yeah, to be honest though like not everybody everyone is talking about it. it's you me and uh there's another youtuber by the name of j bobbin the man that's it bro nobody <laughs> nobody's talking about it nobody want to lose their esg score so like the video if uh if you want to lose your esg score too guys uh Amazing video wait for ever it, wait done for in Call of Duty history. Smash that like button, make sure to subscribe while you're here. Yeah, right. yeah like and subscribe. Right. Let's get a hold of uh -oh. ourselves. Just comment down a little bit here because we got to talk about some serious business happening right now. So, Dr. Dis, 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 Disrespect laid down an absolute gauntlet of truth. Well, you know what? Listen, I've been saying the same thing he's saying because we're both alpha male, six foot something, six foot six, six eight. Just, I mean, jacked out of our minds, testosterone boosted with Mexican supplements, alpha male type duds, and we, we you know, great minds think alike. But he has laid down a gauntlet. And obviously, he's got a bigger platform than me, so it's going to carry yeah. a lot further. The signal boost, and it'll be very strong. And yeah. I wholeheartedly Wait agree with it. what he says here. And what does he say? Well, uh -oh. he says this: Activision pushing water bongs, marriage of <laughs> water, get high <laughs> levels, drugs, and high dollar camels on gamers. But they removed Nick Merck's skin for him saying, "Leave, Leave the, the kids, kids alone. alone." And At yeah, that apparently happened like a year ago, and it's still like kind of like it's silly now. Like, bruh, like, y'all sick has got Nicki Minaj burner. Y'all put that burner. Y'all y'all are putting, like, Coco. Y'all are putting Nesquik and all that, bruh. I'm not against that because, like, listen. I mean, I'm against that, but I'm not against Activision putting it in an M-rated game. If you feel what I'm saying? It's an M-rated game. So, I'm like, hey, you do you. That's fine. Personally, in real life, I wouldn't advise you getting high. I mean, come on, bro. Like, eat your vegetables, drink water, work out. That, that's the type of guy I am, okay? You want to eat healthy. You want to live healthy. You want to always push it. You want to chase your dreams. Don't chase a pom pom. But I get it. Like, man has two needs. Money and pom pom. You want to get pom pom? I get it. I want my VV go boing boing too. But sometimes you want to sacrifice that for your dreams. Sometimes it's good to go after your dreams. But other times I get it. Like, brothers want to get their VV go boing boing. Uh, but but don't get it to the point where you then have to become a sister though Bruh. like like come on bro like so balance it out balance it out but then what happens after this happens roll it
Activision is ran by a bunch of idiots. Actually, I think you should have said, Doc, Activision is run by a bunch of beta male liberal cuck ass woke agenda making taken biggest suit and tie 40s oh, in the shit. industry. And I did do a video about this earlier, uh, talking about how they were promoting drugs and all kinds of stuff with the Cheech and Chong, putting all this effort into 420, yeah. Blaze It, marijuana culture and everything. And this is like part one, right? Wait for the part two when Chris Tyson, uh, Mr. from Mr. Beast responds. Thing in between, but yet you also have- I, I know I'm teasing it, but guys, that's like the best part, okay? Your voice being constantly monitored by Big Brother. If you say a bad word, oh my God, God forbid you say the naughty word, you can get banned or shadow yeah, banned. Well, not shadow yeah, yeah. banned, but you get voice banned and you actually yeah, get yeah, kicked yeah, off yeah. the whole damn yeah, platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get boom, kicked out of the space with Elon Musk and the flat earth. But yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I will yeah. say here, I will say this. Let me just keep it real. I don't know if you guys know about what the facts and the jacks and stuff that's been going around. Perhaps maybe you're new to this channel. You're not really privy to the whole history and the whole Ooh. backstory of eight thoughts, ghost of eight, and everything in between. Oh, no. But Nick Merckx is a bit of a big say that. I don't I don't know if you know, but eight thoughts, which I'm not, I'm the ghost of eight. We are no oh, way related no. to you whatsoever. Had a huge channel, 400,000 subscribers. Was making fun of Nick Merckx because yeah. his thumbnails were like, and I got news for you. That means you're gay. Yeah! In simple English, apparently back in the days, eight thoughts made fun of Nick Merckx's uh, thumbnails, right? And Nick Merckx didn't like that. And he kind of felt cute that day and he nuked his channel. Like I I'm being dead ass right now, right? Bro, like, you might want to chill out, bro. He might feel cute, and then he might nuke your channel again. You never know, right? I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. I, I get it. You man. I And rightfully. You upset. I get that. He took your channel down. Yeah, I, I get that. Like, that's not cool. I get that. But, but, like, damn. Like, don't do it again, bro. Don't repeat the same mistake again, bro. With his mouth wide open, you guys see all the thumbnails. Yeah, and Eight Thoughts said that Nick Burks looked like he's, you know, trying to suck a BBC. And he made jokes about it. And Nick Burks got upset about that and was like, Oh, no, I can't have somebody making fun of my thumbnails. So he openly admitted, like, the videos, you can go to my channel where I show, he openly admits that he struck Eight Thoughts, yeah. huge mega channel, more amazing than Nick Merck's channel was. That's why he's probably upset because he realized that Eight Thoughts content was much superior to his weak ass content. And he struck his channel for uh, some, I guess, getting his feelings hurt. And, you know, nonetheless, Bruh. I do agree. I agree totally wholeheartedly. I even have made videos supporting Nick Merck's and that his opinion yeah. on the matter. Of yeah, I can watch that because, like, it, uh, he does agree with the message of, hey, leave the kids alone. I mean, yeah, leave the kids alone, right? Like, they, okay, yeah, okay, sure. Like, if those kids, when they grew up and they're 18, plus or 20 plus and if then they want to become sisters like if their brother they want to change their gender yeah go for it like what yeah whatever right like go queen strong independent right whatever it, once you're 18 then you can make that decision to do it bro like the craziest part here is that suck his watch reviews for their phones okay before you purchase a phone what do you do you watch like five ten videos on youtube right you do that right because you want to play the comparison game like do you want to buy the ultra do you want to buy the plus do you want to buy the last version of the iphone do you want to buy the like the latest version of the iphone or samsung android or other phones right like for example recently i was uh, trying to i'm trying to get a new headset i watched so many videos on it to know which headset is cheap but also good you know, which headset is the same price, but better than other headsets that are also, that have the same price. We watch so many comparison videos, but nah, bro, like when you're eight years old, you can change your gender though, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, damn, bro, that, that's where we're getting to. And uh, yeah, bro, it's it's wild, bro. I mean, don't you wanna know like the, the you know, like, uh, will your VV go boing boing or no boing? Like, like, come on, bro, like, yeah. I mean, you guys get the idea, right? Bruh. Leave the kids alone and Activision taking. Yeah, the I cannot say much on YouTube, but like out of the game and how it all played out and that whole kind of uh, red pill, which is kind of you know cringe nowadays to say, but the whole red red pill mentality, staying woke against the freaking liberal hive mind woke agenda, ridiculousness. Totally Damn, agree with he, that. Trump twenty twenty four. He awake. He awakened though. It thoughts is awakened. Awake is a good word now. Woke is considered a bad word right now. But okay, what happened after this? Well, let me show you this, okay? We're getting down to that Mr. Beast, uh, Chris Tasson response, but this is what the homie Jay Bowen, the man, had to say, and, and uh, yeah. Roll it. Disrespect put out a really good post that kind of put, you know, into perspective how Activision works here. As you can see yeah. over on Twitter, Activision pushing water bongs, marijuana, get high levels, drugs, and $100 camos on gamers. But they remove Nick Merck's skin for him saying, leave the kids alone. 
Activision is ran by a bunch of idiots, biggest suit and tie phonies in yeah. the industry. <laughs> and for anybody who doesn't know what he's talking about, you know, when he says, get. How can you read that with a straight face? Yeah, biggest phonies, guys, uh, idiots, ties, in tie suits, the biggest phonies. My guy is reading that. He's like rhyming that or not rhyming that. He's just dropping like that, bro. High He's level, I'll go ahead and like post that. it up here. This video clip is taken from Charlie Intel over on Twitter. You've gotten high. So you Brad. guys know who it came from. Brad. I didn't get to personally play it because it was a very limited time event. I think they literally only had it for like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then they took it down so uh, yeah and, and you know what like i don't have modern warfare 3 but what i'm hearing like sickers are saying like it, it's actually a fun mode I, I could be wrong Bruh. though i could be wrong though but that's what i've what i've heard people say that it was actually good and i mean yeah no no shit sherlock i get it everything that's good and fun they remove it they, they just remove it they don't want you loving it they don't want you liking it right uh, yeah uh, and this game plays from immortal so who's immortal okay it was, yeah, it was yeah. later in the night too so it was no chance i was hopping back on this game as you guys know when it comes to me playing call of duty it's mostly only on stream does he talk really about that chris tyson you know or? when it comes to off stream i don't think so, so. yeah I, I just i didn't even bother giving it a go but as you can see this is what they added into the game sledgehammer games putting some work and it's pretty cool it's not over half okay. it is they always try to parent wait for the it community even though this game is a rated m and this stuff is perfectly welcome in a rated m game i'm not saying it shouldn't be in this game yeah, whatsoever. yeah, I'm yeah. Not making that statement at all yeah but, yeah that, like what uh he said is uh it's like uh where is that let me actually find yeah this one here the, yeah the problem is not like that that crap obviously like you don't want to push it in real life you don't want to do it everybody everybody knows right like i mean if you're a grown adult you can make your own decision so that's where i'll leave it but it's a game m rated game so if we're gonna have marijuana and all that crap to me perfectly fine though right yeah but what doc is saying is that activision is pushing all of that but they're gonna remove nick mark's skin for him saying leave the kids alone right so th that's the part i do absolutely agree with to which uh chris tyson comes out uh, let me find that response yeah under jake lucky right uh yeah this is eva chris tyson anti-trans dog whistle yeah bruh. Bruh. versus silly read stuff in a game where 90 percent of every lobby in some dude blazed out of fish mine yeah actually makes perfect sense so apparently saying leave the kids alone is anti-trans dog whistle nobody's against that silly read stuff right like uh, yeah it's 18 plus game so if they're gonna have that yeah it's no bueno but not a problem they can have Nicki minaj burna that's cool too but what suckers are saying here is that dog you leave the kids alone simple as that you're gonna remove that part you're gonna remove his skin for saying that but you're you're gonna be pushing all that crap that's what doc is saying i want to know where you guys are at recently we had this happen in call of duty as well one of the biggest drama that's going on i'm not sure if you actually caught up or not yeah check out this video and your vv is gonna definitely go boing boing after that one check it out and i'll see you right there